I'm more of a cynic. Mm -hmm. um, when people ask me, like, hey, what, what should I do? I really want to be a streamer. I say, don't. Because <laughs> I don't think people realize how much um, trauma comes with it. I genuinely have talked to my therapist about this and she's like, our this is therapist. Our therapist <laughs> she this is the most traumatic job she has ever seen yeah. because it's constant. It's never. So usually how you deal with trauma is you have something really awful happen in your life. Mm -hmm. uh, your mother dies, mm -hmm. which would be so cringe. Um, your, Shut up. You're so dumb. your mom dies and then, you know, you process it and you come to terms with it and you live through that um, with streamers. The amount of trauma that you get is consistent. It never stops. You have people calling you names. You have people judging you. You have people cancel culture. You have mm -hmm. just not fitting in. You have not getting the numbers you want. You have this constant brigade of just negative mm -hmm. things and no one can survive under that level of pressure. Yeah. And so a lot of people that are like, hey, I just quit my job. I want to be a full-time streamer. I say, why'd you do that? Don't do that. Don't, Don't do that. Do I mean, I'd like to make it very clear. I think um, obviously streaming is a career path that's available to people. Mm -hmm. I just think you need to go into it with the right headspace. I think you can't go into it starry-eyed like, you know, this is kind of like the new Hollywood but you need to be prepared it's so mentally damaging like it yeah. has done my therapist is like this has done permanent damage to your brain that you will literally carry with you for the rest of your life like you know and yeah and every time you know she's like well what if you quit you know and i'm like yeah she says that to me we i'm like say. i can't i can't all i i'm like i'll <laughs> quit when brooke quits <laughs> no, i'll quit when cutie quits no but it's just like especially with me like the, i see her a lot for like my ptsd from from the stalking and, and things like that and she's like this is too much for people to have to go through every single day yeah. to wake up every single day and you know be harassed you know stalked from these people and then trolled by these people on the internet and then we constantly compare ourselves well why do i not have this many numbers why are they so much better than me why do they get invited to this why do they get you know it's it's so toxic and there's mm -hmm. no escaping it because even when you take i took a week off last then week then you feel guilty i felt so guilty yeah. yeah i literally was like god i should be live right now mm -hmm. instead of just but i wanted to enjoy time with my family you know i haven't done that but then you're while. selfish then you're lazy then you're this then you're that then you know your view count will drop because that's what happens when you take time off my sub count your sub count plummets your view count drops and that's your livelihood it's not just mm -hmm. yeah so that's my biggest thing is i tell people you know know what you're signing up for it's not what you you know it's not even the biggest streamers you know they have baggage like think of oh, yeah. think of xqc he has night terrors yeah and that is not that's not genetics that's no. not because of you know his job before streaming that is from streaming yeah that is from ptsd that is terrifying his life is forever altered because of this job yep and it's like wow you really gotta slow down and think about that prior to signing up for this 100 percent. it's it can be very very damaging and very scary i don't think people really take in the risks that come with being in this kind of industry but it is um it is not fun sometimes.